Hey guys, this is Scott. Welcome back. We have AI on the right, normal on the left. And this was taken November 25th, 2005 in Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Look at that, guys. Look at the detail. The focus on the right side is just pretty incredible. You see on the left is normal. On the right, it's cleared up quite a bit. But I'm going to make this even more clear, running it through AI a second time in about five seconds. Now look at this. Look at that. The detail of the sky is very high quality. And here we are. AI 2 on the right. AI 1 on the left. And you could tell that there's quite the difference. Here we go. Here we go. Take an eyeful here. Now look at the detail on the right side. Very unusual, whatever it is. Is it a balloon? Is it uh, some remote control device? Is it a gas cloud? It doesn't look like a cloud at all to me. It looks very contained. And it even looks like there's a hump in the center of it and maybe a hole that goes through it on the far right. That, see that big dark area on the right? It looks like it goes through the entire craft. Now here is the second second photo. And it's pretty good, pretty good. Now, this one's a little bit further away, a little bit further, and at a different angle slightly. So let's take a look at this. AI one on the right and normal on the left. Now AI clears it up quite a bit, but not as much as we'd wish it to be. So I'm gonna run it through in just a second again. But look at the detail here. You can see something greenish on the top. There's a hump on top and it looks kind of green to me. Here we are again, AI two on the right, AI one on the left. And the details a little bit better, a little bit better. Wow, look at that. Now, the person said he lives in Edmonton, Canada. He took this picture of a UFO. It's, he's pretty tired right now. And that uh, I have to work in the morning, but I have a picture you guys might like. I showed it to a few people and it blew them away. Anyway, I have a picture st still on my flashcard of my camera. He has a Canon, a Canon camera. And this was November 2005. Now, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Look at that. What is that, guys? What is that? It's not a boat. It's way up there in the air. It's above the ships over there. Look at that. Okay, this is, this is the third and final image. We just saw two different images. Now, this is the third one he sent in. Now, look at this. That's AI right there, but I'm going to run it through AI a second time, and it's really going to make it clear, really going to clear it up. Now, here it is. You can see, whoa, what the heck is that, guys? What is that? This one, understand, remember, it's at a different angle now. It's three different photos, and this this object, whatever it is, in, is in a totally different position. So we get an eyeful of something very, very different. Wow, that's really strange. Kind of round in the front, a little bit uh, right angle in the back there, some structures there. Guys, what are we looking at? Is this some special Canadian Air Force? Do they even have a hair Air Force there? I thought they used U.S. Air Force. Uh, is it a Canadian craft? Is it a U.S. military craft? Uh, what's going on here? Remote control device, a drone? This was 2005, way before drones became popular, but still RC toys were popular. So what are we looking at here? Is this real? Or are we looking at something that's been faked all along? Scussy wearing, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll make more videos for you very soon. Have a good one.